Joining us on Know Your Company today, Mr. Vadi Lal Shah. He's the uh, Joint MD at Share India Securities. And uh, he's a chartered accountant uh, by qualification, skilled in uh, all exchange traded products. I want to tell you a little bit more about Mr. Shah. He's a former member of the NSC Advisory Board and has held key positions as well across the BSC Broker Forum, Governing Board and Commodity Participants of India. That's the CPAI. He's currently Director and Alternate President of ANMI and a member of the BSC Advisory Committee. And today we're talking about uh, share and the plans that they have to continue to grow and expand in the Indian market. Mr. Shah, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Uh, thank uh, Ava Madam uh, for giving us an opportunity uh, to present ourselves. Share India is 26 years old company. Okay. And uh, last five years have been remarkable for the company. Uh, we have transformed into a full-fledged financial service company mm. uh, based on the technology. Okay. We okay. are listed on BSE and NSE uh, on the main board and we have current market capitalization of around 4,000 crore. Okay. And we employ about 2,200 employees mm. and uh, we have 12 subsidiaries. Uh, the group uh, is performing very well. We have a sizable market share mm. in all the segments uh, of the exchange. And uh, we are among top 10 brokers in terms of turnover on the derivative segment. Okay. Interesting. So what uh, happened in the last five years, Mr. Shah, because you said, of course, technology, but was it also the kind of market you were tapping into, uh, the kind of growth that you've seen in the last five years? Where did that come from? That has come from consolidation. Okay. Uh, we acquired Total Securities Limited, mm. uh, a Bombay-based company. Okay. Uh, on in January year 2020 hmm. and from there onward there onwards uh, you know uh, we have uh, got benefit of uh, synergy operations and uh, luckily market also has supported us okay so we have uh, then we have grown uh, uh, to a new level the consolidation has provided a uh, lot of opportunity to us in terms of growing our product portfolio, now we have presence in all the segment. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sizable market share in equity, commodity, currency. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have merchant banking. We have NBFC. We have insurance broking. So the product portfolio is completed. Mm -hmm. And uh, last three years, we have grown by more than 100% okay. in terms of profitability as well as the revenue. For the year ended March 22, we clocked profit after tax of 200 crore plus compared to 80 crore in the previous year. Okay. So it has been 150% growth in profitability and the revenue also accordingly had shoot up by 94% to 873 crore. Okay. And how much of this is still coming from B2B? You've also made plans to enter into retail, is that going to be an altogether new category at this point of time through algorithm uh, trading? Tell us a little bit more about that. Right. Uh, first, I would uh, like to answer your question yeah. on B2B uh, model of business. We are uh, totally different from the uh, discount brokerages mm. houses. Okay. We have very large clients mm. and uh, as we said, uh, we have sizable turnover uh, in the all the segments of the okay. market. Yep. So that helps us uh, to be most competitive in terms of transaction charges. Technology has been our key area. So we are able to provide a platform, technology platform to our clients. Mm. And uh, we have a robust risk management system, which is also essential in the kind of volatile market and the service. So all put together, we have attracted lot many FPIs and main brokers who are who have joined their uh, who have surrendered their membership and they have joined the operations with us. So uh, we are uniquely placed in the uh, in the brokerage uh, system, yeah. whereby we don't have competition from the discount brokerages, and we work on the key strength, which is our strategy-based trading, with in-house technology. Coming mm. back to your Algo question on Algo. Now, Algo is the future. SEBI had come out with consultation paper in the month of January. 
to allow algo to the retail investors and uh, to my knowledge and as per the discussion with the regulator i think the guideline will come within next 15 days time for allowing mm. algo to the retail investor so far the algo was privilege of select few prop desk and the institutional client but now the algo would be available to the retail investors last year we acquired two large technology firm one was algo wire and the other one was u trade u trade has a strategy for algo trading specially designed for the retail investor it is called u trade pro the product is ready we are just awaiting the guideline from the regulator and we expect the product to be launched around diwali period sure the product is unique in the sense this will help to beat the volatility in the market last two year we have seen seen one way a uh, movement in the market market was going up but now last two three months mm. because of the international factor like interest rate inflation crude oil prices ukraine conflict so that has created lot of volatility and we are also uh, not totally unaffected mm. so the idea is to provide a product which would beat the volatility which mm. will protect their capital as well as it will help them to earn decent amount of profit uh, to the retail investors okay the the question of course everyone will have is how can this product help to um, you know minimize risk for a retail investor who's perhaps not as savvy when it comes to the uh, you know managing risk and volatility in markets right here the product is unique mm. they don't have to do anything we don't okay. expect them to come with the knowledge the product has been designed in a way whereby we provide them bouquet of strategies mm. around 12 to 15 strategies which are mainly arbitrage based strategies and it carries very low risk and it will give consistent return we also provide them facility to back test for 3 years data sure. so that they can back test it will provide return of around 10 to 12% though we don't promise any any kind of return to the retail investors but as per the experience as per the uh, study of the uh, back testing of uh, uh, data on a simulated environment we found that they can earn around 10 to 12% on the margin provided by okay. our client okay. now margin has two component one is cash component one is security so effective return on cash component would be more than 15% mm. which is really good for all the retail investors okay. okay now say for example you know all that they have to do is to log into our system in the morning provide margin select the strategy select the step stop loss and they can go back to their work if is a doctor he can go to his practice student in higher education go for studies housewife can do their work and businessman also can just log in and thereafter he can go to his business okay so the product has been made so very simple and uh, there has been lot of interest generated uh, by the retail participants participant algo always protects it does not allow any human uh, sentiments in the trading system right in terms of uh, the kind of um cash you need to sort of st- begin this investment would it be a large corpus uh, what's the minimum uh, you know or can any retail investor start to experiment with this yeah i mean uh, the ticket size could uh, vary from uh, 5 lakhs to 1 crore rupees mm. of margin to be provided by retail investors and uh, they don't require any other thing sure all that they require is to you know just log into the system mm. and uh, place the margin money our strategy will take care of all the trades okay the orders would be released by the system as per the parameters defined in the strategies and uh, they will get the uh, result at the end of the day okay and in terms of what's really happening in the markets of course we know it's volatile but how confident are you of the india story and of uh, markets managing to uh, sustain over the next few months you you are very uh, correct you know current, uh, we are seeing the volatility in the market mm. last few months and uh, basically it is because of the international factors uh, as we mentioned earlier mm. also but 
we believe that uh, the volatility will subside mm. in few months time okay. and uh, there will be lot of opportunity there will be lot of inflow in india okay uh, last one year we have seen outflow of about mm. 2.5 lakh crore by the fii investors but the entire entire uh, uh, has been absorbed by the retail investors you see all the uh, parameters the sip contribution has gone up to 12000 crore a month there is lot of direct investment in mutual fund the way of uh, trading also has changed mm. people are more inclined to products like mutual fund sip acha and index bex okay so if one had to make an asset allocation uh, what would you recommend in terms of how much should go into mutual funds versus some of the other products uh overall in uh, overall exposure in equity should be around 20% according okay. to me okay and within that you know uh, i think the best route is mutual fund and sip because sip will factor in all the volatility and it will give you consistent return and uh, that will protect and that will average out the market also so mm. sip and mutual fund are uh, are handled by experts so they will be able to deal with the situation they will be able to deal with the volatility they will be uh, shifting to the sectors uh, among the mutual funds so according to me you know mutual fund is the best route for the investors but however if there are some hni clients who have knowledge about the market they can invest generally we have seen the equity gives best return sure and uh, even if we compare 20 years period from 2002 to 2022 the sensex was 2600 mm. in 2002 and today we are more than 55000 sure so the kind of return over a long period of time uh, is always higher in the equity instruments All right Mr. Shah thank you so much for joining us and taking us through some of the developments uh, that are ongoing at share we look forward to seeing uh, the new product uh, and uh, you know the kind of opportunity it has for some of our investors thanks so much for joining thank us. you so very much